there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I do these videos just to educate women more on nutrition, how you can match your whole food to your body physiology, your hormones to get and keep the best results possible. Eating in alignment with your hormones and your cycle and whatever time of the month or whatever phase of life you are at. I am the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon. An upcoming book, The Female Menopause Solution. This is coming out really, really soon. Yay! So there's a wait for list for that on my website, which is drbethwesty.com. So you can check it out there. Hmm, aren't they pretty? Um, I have an amazing designer who did these, so. Um, I have also a podcast, The Female Health Solution, which you can subscribe to to stay updated there on all the latest and greatest episodes, and then a YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy, where all of my videos get archived, so if you're looking for something, it's gonna be there, yes. All right, I have a free five-day challenge. I'm gonna put the link in the comments again, because just in case you, by chance, per chance, perhaps, by chance, by chance, that's a word, uh, missed it. The free five day challenge. It is a fat burn and gut detox challenge um, that we're doing. And my goal here is to get your system to rejuvenate, refresh, and really flush everything out. Now, the I talked about a morning routine. I talked about eating clean throughout the day, really supporting your gut health. Now, when you eat food in general throughout the day, when you eat a meal, all of the blood and everything from your system from your body goes to your digestive system, a, a lot of it, not all of it, right? Not like every single drop, but um, Katie, yay, yes, it's so good. But a lot of the blood from your system goes to your gut to help break down and digest everything that you're eating. So when you're doing a detox, it's going to take a lot of energy from you too, because all of a sudden your digestive system is refreshing, you know, clearing things out, turning things over. So it is doing a lot more work than it normally does and that it's used to. So it's normal to have some detox symptoms, which I'll be talking about more tomorrow in the challenge group. So again, free to join. You get a ton of resources. There's a free Facebook group that you can join. Um, and I'll be talking about some more of these detox symptoms that you may notice um, that are a really good sign that your system is really turning over. Katie's saying so tired, but mentally clear. No more white claws this <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh, isn't it amazing? Like there's certain parts that'll feel good and there's other parts where you're like, who, what is this? And I'm like, yeah, that's part of the detox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for me, when I go through a good detox things, I have certain things and I don't know if you can tell, but I just did a little workout. I did um, in there, there's in the free five day challenge, there's actually some great uh, Tabata workouts, some HIIT workouts, things like that. And no, sweetheart, I'm using the charger right now. I... <laughs> Um, my kid just tried to steal my phone charger. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and they're, they're not hard, right? So the today's, the one I did today was, um, it was 20 squats and then 20, let me see if I can remember it. 20 squats, 20 lunges, um, 10 burpees, 10 push ups, four, 20 mountain climbers and 40 high knees. And that, you know, th that's it, right? I could probably write it down. But so what I did is I did 20 squats and then I ran, um, you know, like, I don't know. There's this little field at this park near my house where that's, that I ran across the field. And then I did the, the 20 lunges down there. And then I ran back. And then I did the 10 burpees. And then I ran back, right? So you can do a sprint in between, which I tell you really gets your blood pumping. It gets everything flushed out. Your system goes, and it's not a very long workout. Um, you know, and then I, and I did everything twice. <laughs> I was just sweating buckets. Um, so I sweat a lot more when I detox too. So that's one of the really cool things about going through a detox is that you'll have all these things shift in your physiology that lets you know, oh my God, this is actually working. It's weird when it first happens because you're like, what the heck is this? This isn't normal. Oh my God, am I okay? You're okay. <laughs> it's just that there is some really new detox things happening. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Okay, so in the free five day challenge, again, even if you're not a part of it, I'm giving you a little sneak peek of it just again to give you more content and info. Um, I do have an evening drink with some activated charcoal um, part of it. I'm, I'm, you can take it as a supplement or you can use it as an evening drink. I'm gonna show you the drink version of it just cause it's kind of fun. Um, 
I did talk about today, you know, using um, activated charcoal and making a face mask with it, which I did today too. Oh, isn't that nice? So fresh. As my skin is like still rosy from my workout because <laughs> I'm sweating so bad. Um, but activated charcoal is a great detoxifier. It's actually a super powerful detoxifier overall for your system for a lot of different things. It, it literally will help draw things out. It's a heavy metal detoxifier if you're using it for a certain protocol, long enough period of time, all those other things in a certain dosage amount. You would need specific guidance for something like that. That's not what we're doing with the gut detox. The purpose of using the activated charcoal in the gut detox is, is just to give your gut a little bit of a rest at the end of the day. It's really soothing for your gut. Um, charcoal helps cut down gas, bloating, you know, all that stuff. So sometimes when you're going through a gut detox, things will get kicked up a little bit and you might be like, whoa, whew, what is happening? Oh my gosh, what's going on? This is a nice way to kind of calm things down at the end of the day, soothe your stomach and your gut, you know, your digestive tract as you're sleeping at night. One thing to keep in mind is that you don't want to, you know, do this at the same time that you're eating food because it will draw from the nutrients that you're eating. Sometimes people have a question, well, if it's drawing so much from food and everything, is it going to interact with medications? Um, that depends, you know, but again, don't take this at the same time that you're really taking or doing anything else. You know, this is an isolated thing. Take it by itself, spread out from other things. Um, so you're not risking anything. If you have questions, you know, of course contact. Um, but that's the, that's the biggest thing is that, um, it's not gonna throw off any medication. Like if you take your birth control pill or something like that, that's not gonna, right? Like it's not gonna, it's not the same thing as when, like when you go to the hospital and they give you charcoal, like for if you overdose or something, right? Um, the, uh, you know, this is, this is the same thing that they use, but it's like a, the whole bag, like they'll use the whole bag to detox you, right? We're just using a tiny amount and I'll show you, right? Carrie, even the dogs looked at me like damn girl earlier today. <laughs> right? The gut health is important and this will change throughout the week. You will notice what you start with today is going to be different than your gut health by Thursday, Friday. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Um, so much fun. Um, also, so on my Instagram and I've been posting it on my Facebook stories too. I'm posting it. I'm cause I'm going through it just with it's the same time as you guys. I'm doing the exact same protocol as you guys. And I'm posting what I'm doing for my meals. Um, what I'm eating, you know, throughout the day, and, you know, and I'll throw some kid meals in there too. My kids typically eat what I eat as well. Did I post my dinner? I Oh my gosh, I can't remember if I posted my dinner now. If I didn't post my dinner, I'll post it. <laughs> it might be late. I already ate it earlier, but I'll post it if I didn't now. Shoot. Meal five. I think I did. I'll have to check now that I'm saying that. I can't remember because I was so excited to go get my workout in. Um, and I like to go out with Spot. He like runs back and forth when I, when I do my little workouts. Um... Yes, but anyway, so these are really cool things. So again, we're taking a very small amount of it. So it's just a gentle aid for your digestive system. Um, you know, again, even on here, it says helps with digestion, gas, diarrhea. Uh, mix one tablespoon with a glass of cold water, drink um, before or after meals, one to two hours before or after meals. Um, and drinking a second glass of plain water after the first is advised. That's, that's right on here. So it says to do it differently. Um, what, is, what did she say? Oh, but your gut isn't detoxing what mine is, so it's different. Let's be real. <laughs> yes. Yes, everybody's gut detox is going to be different based on what you're going through. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's very true. Absolutely. It's going to be a very unique experience for each person. That's what's fun about this. Um, so what I have right here is this is a hardwood uh, activated charcoal powder, Amazon. That's, you know, I just get this on Amazon. That's it. This is literally the same stuff you can use to brush your teeth too. I use this to brush my teeth. So I'll dip my toothbrush in this and just, you know, it makes your teeth all black and then you rinse your mouth and then your teeth are like super wicked white. That's what this is. That's, it's the charcoal. I just use this straight charcoal in my teeth. It's really fun. So I have this. I also have this in a, in a capsule form. Um, and this is a, I don't know. When I get on Amazon too, just charcoal. Again, I will travel with these or when I go out to eat, I bring these and I will often take these um, during my meal when I'm eating at, out, um, you know, at a restaurant or something because I'm super sensitive to anything with gluten, super sensitive. 
And if something's cross-contaminated, it generally doesn't have a great outcome for me, if you know what I mean. Um, but having this along, it, this helps calm my stomach and reset my stomach really, really quickly and easily. So I will sometimes take these at night, um, but again, I travel with these quite a bit. And whenever I go out to eat somewhere that I know the whole facility is not gluten-free, which is a lot of places, um, but there's some places where I go, like there's, I have a favorite juice bar in St. Louis Park. It's Vibe Organic Juice Bar. Um, shout out to them because they're amazing. And they have um, a really clean facility that I don't have to worry about when I go there. So there's some places like that, but otherwise I will use this to travel with and that's my little special thing there. So you can take this at night um, or you can do this, the activated charcoal. I'm gonna show you this um, because it also matters, you know, it says a tablespoon. I just use a teaspoon because even a little bit can go a long way. Tablespoon, teaspoon, I don't know. I use this baby spoon. This is like the last baby spoon in my house because my kids are 13, 11, and nine, right? So this was somebody's, this was like a baby spoon that we really had. And then of course, I don't know if you guys are like into like feng shui. I'm not super into feng shui, but my sister told me at one point, she was like, you know, if you keep holding on to some baby stuff, you're gonna end up pregnant again. And I was like, get it out of the house. So this is the only thing I have left out of all the baby things. Oh, and I, cause I use it. I use it as a little scooper and measure. There is a scooper in here. It's somewhere in here, but I can't see it. And if I try and dig my hand in here, it might get, it's gonna get really messy. So that's the only other, oh, I might have just found it. Um, oh yeah, there it is. Okay, oh, what do you know? because I'm doing a Facebook Live that it did that. So here is the scooper. So the only other thing with charcoal that you need to be careful of, besides taking the correct dosage and everything else and following the directions and not overdoing it and what we're just doing for this nice little gut detox is just, you know, really helping out your gut and really this is again focused for, um, you know, intended for intestinal you know, benefit, right? We're not using it for any of the other things that it can be used for. That's a different thing. I do that kind of work with people when I work with them one-on-one -on -one in one of my different programs. I will help and guide you through a heavy metal detox and do all those other fun things that you can do. That's, that's using this in a little different way. But for right now, we're just doing it um, to help our gut at night. So here's my scooper. And this is, yes, this is an old jelly jar because I re reduce, reuse, and recycle. Yes. That's what I'm about, saving the earth. So this is literally an old jelly jar that I use. I keep jars around for random things, right? I use a big jar for my um, detox water today that you can see in my stories um, on Instagram or on Facebook. But so this is just a little um, lemonade hydrate drink, right? There's some electrolytes and stuff in here. Great. You know, it's, it's just, just, it tastes good. Um, just a small serving of it, just about eight ounces of liquid here. And the only reason I do the lemonade is because I like the way that it tastes and I don't like to drink it with plain water. You totally can do it with plain water. It says it on the package, do it with plain water. I don't because lemonade is good. Yeah, that's it, lemonade. So this is it. And we just dump the whole thing in there, the whole scoop in there. Now, the only thing that you gotta be careful of, and again, I did a workout, I'm sweaty and gross, I'm still gonna rinse off, you know, and then take a shower later before I go to bed. But this package, and I don't know if you can see, like it's on my fingers already, like, don't do this on a white carpet. Don't do this, like the charcoal, if you're gonna make a charcoal mask, like I'll, I'm posting the recipe in the five day challenge group, Facebook group, um, it's amazing. But don't use a brand new towel and washcloth to wash your face. Like the charcoal will stain it. I have a specific face, wa face wash cloths um, uh, that I use when I do charcoal stuff just because it stains it black and then it looks weird, right? Not something that you want a guest coming over and being like, dude, why are your washcloths black? What is happening? <laughs> like, oh, that's just from my charcoal mask. It's fine. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, but it gets everywhere. It will get on your hands. You know, if there's a little tiny trace of powder anywhere, it will get everywhere. So that's the only thing about the charcoal is that if you have like, if you're wearing, don't wear a white shirt. Don't wear a cl clothes that you care, right? Like right now, I'm gonna put this in the wash so I don't care, right? Um, dark colored clothes, like it can stain a white shirt and it might not come out all the way. So just keep that in mind. But this is, this is it, right? There. 
there. And then I'm just going to drink this. And yes, it, it's black. It looks totally weird. It looks totally <laughs> bizarre. And again, I just keep it in this little jelly jar. Um, no one else drinks it. It's a little bit grainy. Mm -hmm. See, it's all, it's a little grainy to be honest. Um, but it tastes good because of the lemon. <laughs> Because I made, I made lemonade first. So if you have like a seltzer or any other flavored water that you like using, you can do that too and mix it in there. Again, the charcoal isn't going to ruin it, but you're not necessarily going to... I don't expect to absorb all the minerals from this because I'm drinking the charcoal at the same time. I expect the charcoal to be doing its thing. So there's that. Last thing that I'm going to say about the charcoal. And again, in the five-day challenge, um, and when I work one-on-one -on -one with women, I'm very honest. I'm very open about shifts and changes and what happens with your body and everything. Um, when you're adding stuff like this in, you know, if you change the input, the output will change as well. Now, this is an organic material that consuming it, it's going to change the color of the output. Your poop might be black, is what I'm saying. You might poop, and it might be a darker color. And that's okay, right? That's This is part of it. So I had a friend who called me and was like, Oh my God, am I okay? I don't know if I'm okay. I was like, oh, you did the charcoal. You're fine. You're fine. We're okay. We're okay. I'm just saying, I'm warning you, just in case you wake up tomorrow morning and you're like, Oh my God, I think I'm dying. You're not dying. You just had a whole serving of charcoal the night before. Now, if you don't see it in the morning, that doesn't mean that it's not working, right? Everybody's system is a little bit different. Everybody's system will respond and react differently. But it's really interesting to see how your system reacts and responds. Um, and I'll be talking more about the gut detox, things that it really helps with, um, different things you'll notice, because this can also help level out your blood sugar levels. Um, this can help with your hunger satisfaction uh, hormones and resetting that mechanism in your system. There's a lot of really cool things that happen when you refresh your gut health. So we're doing all of this and I'm, I'm putting a ton of content and information into this free five day challenge. Um, you can still join, link is in the comments. You know, just, you know, when you post something, you can tag, tag, hashtag Dr. Beth five day. That way I can see it. It's super fun. Everybody's getting super into it. So that's nice to see. Um, but again, best way to end the day, this charcoal thing. Again, you can take this. See my tongue, it turns my tongue black. It's just fun, right? And it, mm -hmm. so after I drink this, <laughs> it makes my teeth kind of black. Um, gonna make my teeth super white though just watch um after I drink this I'm gonna brush my teeth go to bed and call it good I am in a shower don't worry I know this is like I'm super sweaty that's just what happens when you're working out really hard yeah all right that's what I got for you guys tonight I have some really fun exciting things coming up again this five-day challenge um you know, if you want more information on any other programs I have, they're on my website, but my new book is coming out really soon. So I'm going to have more info on that in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, yeah, but otherwise I hope you have a great rest of your night. Let me know if you have any other questions, if I can help you anyway. Otherwise I will see you guys tomorrow.